Well, good evening and thank you for joining us for Krem to News at 6 tonight. I'm Mark Hanrahan. And I'm Tom Sherry. Whitney is on assignment today. Well, three of the 15 suspects in the investigation death of a WSU freshman in 2019 have pleaded guilty. Sam Martinez died from alcohol poisoning after an Alpha Tau Omega fraternity event. These are the first three suspects to be sentenced for their actions that night. Krem 2's Ian Smay joining us live in the newsroom tonight with more on those sentences. Ian? Mark, Tom, the three suspects who were sentenced last week all pleaded guilty to one count of furnishing liquor to a minor. That is a gross misdemeanor in Washington State with a maximum penalty of a year in jail and a $5,000 fine. The three won't face that maximum sentence, but this marks the first people to face punishment for their actions on the night a freshman loved by his friends and family passed away after an event at his fraternity. Sam Martinez, a 19-year-old Washington State University freshman, was found dead of alcohol poisoning following a November 2019 event at the Alpha Tau Omega fraternity. It was the night new members in the fraternity learned who their so-called big brother, or mentor figure in the chapter, would be. Since that night in Pullman, it's been tough for his family. If just one person had stopped or said stop, if one person had called for help when Sam was in trouble, Sam would still be with us right now. And that's really hard for us to live with. To his friends and family, he's remembered as a fun-loving, gentle soul. He just like, he has this light that you just want to be around. And it's beautiful. And I feel so lucky that I got to, to spend so much of Sam's like very short life with him. 15 of his fellow fraternity members were charged with at least one count of furnishing liquor to a minor, a gross misdemeanor. As a Poland police officer explained to the fraternity's president the morning Martinez was found, the crime is committed by simply supplying alcohol to someone underaged. Possibly minor furnishing liquor to minors. Is right, that which is a misdemeanor for Wes, or is that for everyone involved? No, no, it would be, it's like this, here you go. I gave that to you. So it would be a person. Now three of them, Nolan Valsic, Cameron Thomas, and Maxwell Rovengno, have pleaded guilty and received their sentences from a Whitman County judge. They will be under some form of probation for eight months. The three will have to pay $543 in fines and spend one day in jail. They also have an additional $500 in fines and 363 days in jail suspended as part of their sentence, meaning if they break the terms of their probation, they could spend some or all of the 363 days in jail and could have to pay another $500 in fines. The terms of their probation include completing a drug and alcohol education course, a victim impact panel normally given to those guilty of driving under the influence, and they have to complete that day in jail by December 23rd. Also, they can't break any laws during the eight months they are under probation. Once they complete the alcohol and drug class and the victim panel, the three will transition to unsupervised probation, meaning they won't have to regularly meet with a probation officer. As part of the deal, Valsic also had one additional charge of furnishing liquor to a minor dropped. Now we should also point out that the charges these three pleaded guilty to weren't for giving alcohol specifically to Martinez. They were either for providing alcohol to just someone underage in general or to someone other than Martinez. Charges haven't been dropped for any of the 15, meaning 12 or more people could face punishment for their actions that night in Pullman. We reached out to the lawyer representing the Martinez family for their reaction to these plea deals, but we have not heard back. In the newsroom tonight, Ian Smay, Krem 2 News.